Right. That concludes um, our discussion of uh, single random variables. And at this point, we are moving to random vectors or vector random variables. Okay, first things first, let's start with the definition. A, a vector random variable or a random vector is again a function similar to a random variable that assigns a real uh, a vector of real numbers to each outcome in a random experiment. Okay, the definition is very, very similar to uh, the definition of a random variable. And if you remember with, with random variables, we assigned one real number to each outcome. Here, we are not assigning one real number, but a random vector or, or, or a real vector in, in, uh, in the space r to the power n, okay? Whatever n may be. Uh, that is the dimension of this random vector. Um, now, here you see an example. You have the sample space S, and here we have three possible outcomes. And it, the outcome A1 is mapped to this vector here in this two-dimensional space. And the outcome A2 is mapped to this vector and A3 is mapped to this vector, okay? So instead of mapping outcomes to single random, uh, single real values, we map them to a, a random, sorry, a real vector, okay? Now that is one way to look at random vectors, you, the assignment of real vectors to each outcome. Another approach would be um, a random vector is just a vector whose components are individual random variables. That's also a legitimate approach. When you look at, for instance, this outcome A2, when you map this to this, what you are saying is actually uh, when the outcome is A2, okay, I construct a random vector whose first component is a random uh, variable, which is mapped to this value. And the second component is a random variable, another random variable, which is mapped to this value, whatever that is. Okay, so we can also treat each component of a random vector as a random variable in its own right. So each component, x1, x2, x3, etc., what, how many, uh, however many you have, each of them is a separate random variable. So everything we discussed up to this point is still valid for all the components of a random vector. Okay, the distributions, the statistics, means, variances, etc., bounds, um, joint uh, distributions. We will we'll talk about in a minute. The relations. Um, so anything we have talked about, uh, and any techniques we have seen so far, uh, conditioning, etc., all of them are valid on uh, components of a random vector. Okay, here's a simple example. Let the random experiment be picking a random person out of a population. And we will define, based on this random experiment, we will define a, a random vector. And the components will be x1 person's age. Okay, so this random person, that is the outcome. And the person's age will be the first component. Person's height will be the second component. Uh, the number of children that person has will be the third component and the gender, which is enumerated because it is discrete and uh, we will have a mapping, uh, will be the fourth comp uh, component. So these four you see are also random variables. So when you make a random vector in this way, you see, first of all, you can uh, see this as the assignment of a um, four dimensional vector assigned to the selection of this person. Or alternatively, you can see this random uh, experiment producing four different random variables, and then you combine them together to obtain a random vector. Both approaches are valid. And in general, a random vector X is represented as a column vector. So we will use this representation throughout the course. In other resources, you might see different representations, but this is the one we prefer. And my notation will be uh, a capital letter uh, with upright and bold. 
Now, as we have said, said each component x sub i here is a random variable. And therefore, they might be discrete, they might be continuous, they might be mixed type, okay? So each of these, so the vector itself may not be uh, the same type all throughout. They might have different uh, types, they might have different properties, they might have different distributions, obviously. And we will talk about their joint distributions and their relations.